Happy holidays to all my fellow Americans. And I say happy holidays because I do not want to offend the one or two people in America who would be offended if I say Merry Christmas. I hope you all a good Thanksgiving, although to be honest, it is in our best interest for all Americans to be as miserable and ungrateful as possible, so that it's easier for all of us in Washington to exploit and take advantage of you. Anyway, as you are all aware, our Congressional Super Committee recently failed to reach an agreement to cut $1.2 trillion from our national debt. But rest assured, I was not all too worried about failure, because $1.2 trillion in automatic cuts would have been made across the board as a condition of such failure. It is a win-win for me and the Democratic Party, because an agreement would have looked good for my 2012 re-election, and its failure allows me to use the class warfare card and simply blame the Republicans for not taxing the wealthy, even if they would never do it anyway, and I will still get re-elected. Forget the fact that this committee was created on my watch, and its success depended largely on my willingness to work together with the other side, but because we are the party in power, we always have the leverage to drum up the popular support we need for our side, with minimal effort to actually produce results. Speaking of which, I also hold in my hand the power to continue jobless benefits and cutting payroll taxes for millions of Americans. Forget the fact that we continue to mortgage our social security to meet our short-term demands, because even though we always talk about our future and our children's future, we never let our own hypocrisy get in the way of always spending beyond our means. Especially when none of us in Washington are actually in touch with our citizens, and therefore have no real clue on how to create new jobs or educating Americans better in the face of an ever-changing economy that continues to leave more and more Americans unemployed. Ahem, uh -huh. where was I? Oh yes, jobless benefits, and tax cuts. Forget what I just said because we are still giving away free money. And the only thing more important than logic, reason, and common sense is free money. Who does not love free money? Anyway, tell your local congressman to continue giving you free money, or you will pay $1,000 more in taxes and lose your welfare. So you can either risk losing your future, or risk losing your present. It's your choice, and in America, it's all about freedom of choice. Just remember that I risk nothing either way, because success means my 2012 re-election, and failure means I can always blame the Republicans for raising taxes, and still get re-elected. Remember, it's all about who holds the power, so you are either with us or against us, and even if you are against us, it does not matter to us anyway. Didn't another president say something like that years ago? Oh well, whatever, in closing, you may be asking yourself if I have actually lived up to my promises of change, hope, and yes, we can. All I can say to you is this. I helped change the party in power. I fulfilled the hopes of those who wish for business as usual in Congress. And can we continue the ongoing partisanship and hostility that always threatens to undermine the fabric of our once great nation? Yes, we can. Thanks for watching. May you all be as thankless and ungrateful as you always are in good times and bad, so that you continue to depend on us for everything. Happy holidays, and may the big guy in the sky bless America, because we sure as hell need all of it. Good night.